Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of May 29th to June 4th, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aquarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, any planet in your chart. All right. Let's look at your energy first. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. What is Aquarius' energy in regards to love and in regards to their person, whoever they're connecting to and dealing with in love for this week? Aquarius. Aquarius. I'm a little bit sick today, so excuse my voice if it's different. All right, here we go. In regards to your energy, Aquarius, pertaining to love this week, we have the Hermit. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Empress. Eight of Swords is here. Lovers is here. Mm. Let me show you the cards. They're pretty. Hermit, Ten of Swords. And the Empress. Okay, we also have the Lovers here with the Page of Cups and the King of Wands. I can already see you're, you're the Empress. And the Queen of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords. Mm hmm. Mm. You look like you're kind of thinking about someone, someone who you um, experienced a painful ending with or a painful separation with, with the Ten of Swords. Um, you are in this hermit energy, which is a very, you know, reflective energy. It's an energy of contemplation, meditation, reflection. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this person also looks like they're kind of thinking and meditating and contemplating as well, the Empress. And we do have a separate person here who's missing you. There's an energy of them missing you. I think you're missing them as well. Or like you, you're thinking about them, but the reason why you're thinking about them is because they're thinking about you at the same exact time. Because we do have the lovers here, which is a twin flame energy. So I do feel like there is a very spiritual connection between you and this person. And the moment that this person thinks about you, you also think about them simultaneously. Both of you can kind of feel each other's energies, even from a distance, even while being separated. Hmm. I want to look at you there, though. Let's look at this Empress in your energy. Spirit angels and guys, show me the Empress here. Clarify the Empress for me. Why is the Empress in Aquarius's energy in regards to their person for this week? And in regards to love for this week? 
by the Empress. Oh, there's a third party situation. I just I just heard that right now. This is Queen of Pentacles. This is a third party here. <clears throat> Tell me about the Empress and Aquarius' energy. Two of Pentacles. So you're going back and forth about something here, Aquarius. Two of Pentacles is clarifying the Empress. What are you going back and forth about? Let's see. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles spirit. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Why is Aquarius in this energy for this week? Oh, okay. We have the Ace of Swords. This is a new beginning um, in regards to communication. So some of you are trying to decide if you want to communicate again with this person or if you don't want to communicate again with this person. Hmm. Tell me more about this energy spirit. Tell, tell me about the Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords about? The moon. Okay, you're very indecisive here. You're very um, unsure about, I don't know, something about communication with the Ace of Swords. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're an air sign, actually. Aquarius is, is um, it's, it's an air element sign. Ace of Swords is an air element as well. This is kind of like a new beginning. This is basically like an Ace of Cups for you. For you specifically, not, not for necessarily the other zodiac signs. But for you, this is like an Ace of Cups because it connects to the air element. I see. So you're a little bit indecisive if you if you want to be with this person again or not, basically. You're feeling you're you're kind of second guessing yourself a little bit. You're kind of going back and forth about this person if, and how you feel about this person. You're questioning your feelings. You're also questioning your decision because the Ace of Swords is all about making a decision. So I do feel like you did make a decision to separate and end things with this person. But with the Moon and with the Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, this is kind of like you questioning that decision that you already made. Like I said, kind of second guessing yourself a little bit. Like, am I really ready to cut this person out of my life? Am I really ready to cut out this relationship permanently out of my life you know I feel like you're still kind of trying to figure out your feelings in regards to this ending and if you're and if you're willing to accept it or if you're ready to accept it and let it go fully you know hermit is here you're in you're in an energy of contemplation here this almost feels like Mercury retrograde energy, but it's 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 not Mercury retrograde yet. But it feels that way. Yeah, because you're kind of retracing your um, your thoughts, reviewing your thoughts, reevaluating your thoughts and your feelings. Tell me about the Hermit card in Aquarius' energy. Tell me about the Hermit card in Aquarius' energy. Ooh, more thinking and meditation. Look at that, Four of Swords. You know, Four of Swords is very similar to the Hermit card. It's also kind of an energy of laying down and, you know, thinking about the things that you have 
decided in your past. So again, more meditation and contemplation and reevaluating yourself. I think this person is really heavy in your energy and it's because they're thinking really heavily about you. And I do feel like with the lovers being here, it does feel like this person is um, yearning for you. They're longing for you and yearning for you, desiring you. And I feel like you're picking up on that. I also feel like it's mutual because the lovers does talk about mutual energies and mutual feelings. We do have the Page of Cups, so this person does want to come towards you um, with a love offer and with a love message. I wonder what that message is. Let's take a look at that. I have cards that um, that tell me different love messages. So let's see what love message they want to tell you with this um, oracle deck that I have. Spirit, what love message does this person want to say to Aquarius? What love message does this person want to say to Aquarius? Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. All right. It says, unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. Things didn't go the way I planned. Yeah, I feel like this has to do with this third party here because I am seeing a third party on the side here. I feel like this person um, had divided loyalties and they might have been trying to get away with it except that things didn't go the way they planned. Anything else? What does this person want to say to Aquarius Spirit? Neglected. I failed to give you what you need. Neglected. So this person wants to acknowledge that they neglected you, that they neglected the relationship, and they failed to give you what you need and what you deserve, what they know you deserve. Yeah, I feel like this person was just occupied and focused on other things outside of you. And they weren't really... Um, nurturing the relationship with you because they were too busy focused on other things outside of this relationship and for some of you I do feel like it's a person here all right let me put these cards away so that's what they want to say to you let me clarify your energy a little bit more. I want to see the Ten of Swords. Tell me about tell me about the Ten of Swords in Aquarius's energy spirit for this week. Why the Ten of Swords? Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is all about being single, but it's next to the Ten of Swords. So it doesn't look like you want it to be single. Like you didn't want to be on your own. You didn't want to have to separate yourself from this person, but you felt like you had to do it. You felt obligated to do it for, for the sake of your own personal, for your own well-being, for your dignity, for the sake of your dignity, right? The Nine of Pentacles is all about... Um, respecting yourself and honoring yourself, you know, respecting your self-worth. Defending your self-worth. So for the sake of all of these things, you felt you felt like you had no choice but to separate yourself from this person because you felt like they weren't 
um, respecting your, your worth. So it, it looks like you find yourself being, you know, single and alone. Like I said, it's not what you wanted, but you're perfectly capable of doing it, of being on your own and being, being independent because you are showing up as the empress. You are someone who attracts a lot of blessings and opportunities. So you know that you have, you know, you're not going to have any trouble, um, finding new opportunities and attracting new opportunities. So that's not what, that's not a concern to you. It's not what makes you feel conflicted. It's, it's more so that you actually wanted something serious with this person. You had actual real feelings for this person and it's a big disappointment. that this person couldn't see your worth. And they put you in a position, they forced you in a, into a position where you had to choose yourself over them. Or you had to choose yourself over this relationship to protect yourself. So it's like there's a resentment, you know, with the moon. There's a resentment that you feel towards this person for putting you in that position to make such a difficult decision here. Some of you feel like this person doesn't even care. Like they never actually cared. I'm gonna clarify this King of Wands before I go to your person. Tell me about the King of Wands and the Page of Cups and the Lovers. This is your person and Aquarius is person's energy. Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands. Yeah, this person definitely wants to reach out. They wanna communicate. They miss you. There's a lot of arrogance though connected to this person. Like you can see it here. King of Wands, it, it's like someone who's very self-centered, egotistic. And with the lovers, it's like this person is all there when it comes to, you know, the, the passion, like the passionate side of the relationship. But when things start becoming more serious, that's when they disappear or they disconnect or they, you know, they shut down. They're only there with you for, for the good part, you know, for the good times, for the passion. King of Wands is all about passion. I'm getting like this person like ghosted you or something or like they just, they stopped giving you time. They stopped giving you their time and their attention. They got distracted with other things here. Once they felt like the passion was not as strong anymore. But the thing is, it almost looks like their passion is now back to a really high level because you're no longer attainable. And the fact that you're no longer attainable, that you're, you ended things and you're disconnected from them, now their passion has, you know, become higher and more intense the way it was in the beginning when you two first came together, you know? All right. Let's move on to your person and their energy. <coughs> Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week.
What's the energy of the person? Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is Aquarius' this person's energy towards Aquarius for this week? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, this one. Okay. okay, we have King of Pentacles here. We have the Ten of Cups. And we also have High Priestess. We have the Knight of Swords here at the bottom. What is this? We also have the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Two of Cups, Nine of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, that feels like your energy. Four of Swords. Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Lovers, Queen of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups. Hold on, I'm looking at the full picture, King of Cups. All right. Hmm. This is a strange energy, honestly. It almost feels a little bit like a chameleon. Feels like you're dealing with a chameleon. They're very good at changing their skin. Changing the color of their skin. You're not taking it, are you, Aquarius? I think this is you saying no. I'm going to clarify that, actually. This almost looks like you are rejecting an offer here. Let me look. Tell me about that Ace of Wands in Aquarius's energy spirit. Tell me about that Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands in Aquarius's energy. Let me just verify this energy here. The Death card. What did I tell you? I told you Death card is an ending, a second ending here. Tell me more about the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands for Aquarius. Oof. Page of Cups. You're taking your chances elsewhere. They are going to come towards you with this Page of Cups energy, which I already saw. We already saw that at the beginning. Um, they're going to try to woo you. They're going to try to sweep you off your feet. But you're in this energy of, I'm looking for someone who I can build with, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, you're very career oriented also. Some of you are very like all about um, raising yourself, elevating yourself in your career, your work, your finances. And you're doing really great, by the way. This is a lot of success and a lot of abundance here that you're that you're earning. Right. The seven of pentacles means that you, you've worked really hard. You are working really hard. You're making a lot of improvements, not only in the material side of your world, of your life, but also on a personal level. You're making improvements in the material aspect and also in the personal aspect of your life. And I feel like you're in this energy of, it almost looks like you're in an energy of love shouldn't be so difficult. It shouldn't be so complicated. When I find the right one, when I find the right person that's meant for me, it's not going to be so difficult. It's not going to be so complicated. It's not, it's not going to be a guessing game with the moon card. I'm not going to have to guess about how, how, someone feels about me and what their intentions are. I'm just going to automa automa automatically know because the person is going to give me that security and that stability and that reassurance that I deserve. They're not going to keep me hanging. They're not going to keep me 
guessing. They're not going to put me in a position where I'm basically, where I'm almost begging. Where it's, it's like I'm almost begging for, for love and attention. The right person wouldn't do that to me. The right person would value me from the first second. From the very beginning. Hmm. Jeez, wow. Intense energy here. What happened to you, Aquarius? I don't know how you switch from there to here. Some sort of light bulb went off in your head here. Some sort of light bulb went off went off in your head. Some sort of switch. A light switch, you know, just turned on in your head. I feel like all of us, it's almost like an epiphany. Like all of a sudden you're in this energy of, you know what? Why am I thinking about doing this to myself? Why would I do this again to myself? Like, it's the truth. The Ace of Swords is the truth. It's like all of a sudden you see the truth. You had already seen the truth, but then you started to doubt yourself with this moon card. But with the Ace of Swords here, you're you're gonna you're going to once again see the truth. It's gonna be like an epiphany. And I feel like you're going to feel really confident. You're no longer going to feel indecisive. You're going to feel really confident about just being patient and waiting for the right one to come into your life because you're going to know confidently that they are going to come into your life. That it's just a matter of time. And the more you work on yourself... The more you focus on improving yourself, the faster you're going to attract the blessings that you want in your life. The opportunities that you want in your life. And we do have the Ace of Wands, so I do feel like there is going to be a new opportunity coming into your life quicker than you imagined. And it's not this person. It's just not, you know? It's not this person. Let's look at this person's energy. All right. Had to talk about you because you showed up here. So somebody needed to hear that. Let's see. Clarify this person's energy towards um, Aquarius spirit, King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and High Priestess. I'm telling you, there's a third party here. I know that Ten of Cups is not you. I know it. It's not you, Aquarius. That's somebody else. And it's and it's they're keeping it a secret with the high priestess. Clarify this person's energy, Aquarius this person's energy for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Strength, the death card, and the world. Yeah, temperance is at the bottom, star is at the bottom, seven of pentacles, the moon. Hold on, I want to see this. Star, seven of pentacles, the moon, ace of wands, king of wands. Oh my god, knight of wands, knight of cups, yikes, eight of wands. Okay. This person's going to challenge you. I mean, not challenge you. They're going to test you. This person's going to test you to see if you're really um, as secure in your, in your decision to be independent of, of this relationship, of this person, like, like you say you are. If you really are ready to become independent of this relationship. They are going to test you. But I see this person um, 
in a different relationship. The thing is that this relationship, it's not progressing because they're focused on you. They're focused on, on wanting to get back together with you and wanting to have a new beginning with you and wanting to reconcile with you. But they're not telling that to this other person that's in the picture. They're keeping everything a secret here. Um, and I do feel like this other person has high hopes of having a happily ever after with whoever you're dealing with, Aquarius. Um, it's almost like a plan B. This person is, is securing a plan B just in case things don't work out with you because they are going to attempt a reconciliation with you. But just in case it doesn't work out with you, they have a plan B, secure. Okay, and that's the energy they're bringing towards towards you this week. It's just kind of deceptive, you know. They're obviously making things as convenient convenient as possible for themselves. They're creating a, a situation of convenience here with the King of Pentacles. Tell me about this relationship, Spirit. Tell me about this external relationship between Aquarius's person and this third party. Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Three of Wands. You see, this is why things are not going to work out with this third party. Because this person's heart is not in it. They're not, they're, their heart is not really in it. They're only in it because of convenience, because of practicality. Because this is someone who obviously has an issue with being on their own. Clearly. Yeah, clearly. This person, yeah, because they, show, they showed up as the Page of Cups twice, two times. This person obviously has an issue with being on their own, with being completely single or being completely um, unattached. Relationships, it looks like relationships give them a little bit of like a sense of security and a sense of stability that they don't really have when they're on their own. So this kind of looks like someone who goes or who jumps from relationship to relationship, you know? It's like they need to have someone, you know? They need to be in a relationship with someone at some capacity, but it doesn't have to be a commitment, you know? They did show up as the king of wands, so I don't feel like this is someone who tends to have serious relationships with anyone though they might make it seem that way they might make it seem that way to the other person to whoever they're dealing with but i feel like this is someone who likes to keep their options open with the three of wands they like to keep their options open they like to have plan a and plan b all the time, at all times, you know? But the problem with this a relationship here is that this person can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop, you know, their, their energy and their attention is distracted here. They can't really fully give themselves to this relationship because they, they find themselves always thinking about you. And with the Three of Wands, I do feel like with the Ten of Wands, it's not going to go anywhere. Things are not going to go anywhere. And I do feel like they're going to end up searching for another option because I don't see things going anywhere with this third party situation. And they're going to find themselves in search of another option because they're going to end up without you and without this other person, you know? All right. 
Aquarius, I hope this reading helped you. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading, and I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions, and also what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.